Hey guys, JD here. Um, heads up, uh, this is going to be quite a bit of an awkward video because it's my first time on camera. Uh, but I've like, I've run into an issue that I just like to address and I'll probably help quite a few people with. I've read it online that more people are kind of struggling with it. And uh, I actually found quite an easy way uh, to use the, the multi-voicer on the Archetype Tim Henson in FL Studio. Um, <clears throat> like I was looking online and most people explain it with Ableton and uh, Reaper. Uh, for as far as videos are able to be found online on how to get it to work and they're not all as uh, straightforward and easy to use in a doll like FL Studio um, and also looking how to uh, looking into how to map um, a MIDI track into like uh, a plugin um, yeah, it's not really all that easy because most people uh, have like mixers and uh, keyboards and other MIDI stuff uh, where they show how to automate uh, certain aspects of a plugin uh, with their hardware. Uh, so I decided to make a video for you guys and hope it helps. Uh, if not, leave a comment or something and I'll try to get to you. Um, well, first off, uh, a bit about this. Um, there's a difference in like, uh, probably like how I record music and make music uh, in terms of uh, the types of music that I record because um, I've met a few people who prefer FL Studio, but um, not a lot of people for like the types of music that uh, I prefer to make still. Thank God for the world of art. It's my own choice. Um, so for an example, uh, right here in the mixer, I've had one uh, channel set up. Um, it has an input. Uh, it's the input from my USB interface. And I'm running the Archetype Pliny in here. Just to give you guys a bit of an example, uh, usually the kind of music that I'm more into and play uh, is a bit something like this. But that's not quite the music you'd expect uh, when we're listening to Tim Hansen using the multi-voicer effect. So I'll turn this one off. No sound right now. And we'll be going to another channel. Uh, and here I've set up the Archetype Tim Hansen plugin. Um, right now, I can easily just this one off we have the amp and right now i'm using this one it has a nice clean sound um we have the cabinet we have the, the multi-voicer which is off right now uh i've disengaged the uh, eq for no apparent reason to be honest and also the um the delay and the chorus is off uh, so right now the sound i'll get out of my guitar is something like this and um, I'm putting my guitar into the position where it uses the back one as a humbucker and the front two single coils as a humbucker as well uh, and he uses both of them uh, this is the Ivan SQ 45 if I'm correct the SF uh, the sea foam green one uh, right now it sounds like this It has a really nice clean sound. Um, so I want to start with this uh, and show you guys how to set up the whole uh, MIDI thing for the multi-voicer. Uh, what I start with myself, um, 
And that's something you can also uh, see in Tim Hansen's video. If you get any like uh, any plugin, uh, it can be native. It can be like just anything where you can get like a keyboard. Uh, for me, I use uh, Harmer because one of the the nicest things to get into the vibe is a bit of a synth that sounds uh, that that just sounds really chill. This one is set to the preset Rachel, and I haven't tweaked anything in here. And this one sounds like this. It just has a really nice chill sound. You can use like really aggressive synths or anything because we're just ripping the MIDI off of it anyways. Uh, the cool part about this is that I'm uh, able to just put this one down as like the, the, the bass flavor, just have it run so that we have a vibe to play along with. Uh, but we can also just keep it off. Um, when you're done, and I have three patterns over here, like the first one, just to show you that it's just clear, it's nothing. Um, you guys probably, uh, if you have like uh, the up-to-date version, um, which mine really isn't all that up-to-date, but up-to-date enough as of today, um, use your right mouse button, you replace one of these uh, that you, uh, that's already there, or you just add a new one, and you pick like any synth that you want. It can just be the FO keys as well. Then another right mouse, the piano roll, and then we have this thing that turns to an abomination full screen. Um, and here we can just make some nice chords. And the idea, the the idea here, yeah. Sorry for not being natively English. Um, is that you uh, create a nice chord progression, like something preferably more than just three or four chords. Try to get something in with like six chords, five to seven is fine as well. Uh, the more the merrier. Um, and for the plugin, um, I've noticed that sometimes when you like. Um, put in too much notes as if you're trying to use the full extent of a keyboard with both hands uh, the multivoicer doesn't always pick that up as well uh, so I prefer to just use basic chords just try to use three, four notes maybe five uh, you can try um, but right now I'm not going to waste your time with this um, on pattern number two I have a chord progression set up and this chord progression on the guitar goes a little something like this. Root up the last two chords, but that's fine. You get the gist of it. Um, and this can just actually be looped over and over. So I could just put it on right now. Oh. I'll take off the metronome for now because it's not really required. Um, so yeah, this is like the, the sound uh, that I'm going to map. These are the MIDI notes. Um, what you can do is uh, I've cloned it myself. Uh, so I made a clone, I copied this into another one, and uh, you can just right click this one, you can replace it, and then replace it with MIDI out. And when you replace it with MIDI out, uh, you get something like this. This is pattern 3 for me right now, I've split them up, and here you see that the exact same chord progression is uh, in the MIDI uh, keyboard right now. And um, I can put this one down as well. So as you see here, we've got pattern two and pattern three. And when I mute this one, you'll hear no sound at all. Because it's just plain MIDI input and it's not going to anything that produces sound. Um, when you get this screen, and let me just move these away. 
you get this little uh, thing here and this will probably be set to like zero. So what you have to do is you put this to any port that's not in use and um, chances are if you have done nothing with MIDI, any port is available. I prefer using round numbers, so I pick 10. It doesn't have to be 10, it can be anything that's not in use, but that's just me. With that, uh, this one is set to 10, um, the port, which means that uh, the MIDI will output to port 10. So anything that's listening to port 10 will receive the MIDI input. So I'll open Archetype Tim Hansen and go to the, um, the settings here. And uh, when you press this button, and I hope to God it stays there for a long time for you guys, uh, you get these two. And one of them is just showing this. The other one shows certain settings. Um, it's the input port, which is set to nothing. At first, you set this one to like the, the same for the MIDI out. So now they're both 10. This one is outputting to 10, and this one is have getting their input from port 10. So with that, uh, if I engage this one and engage the MIDI with the setup I have right now, it'll sound like this. And it's actually just that easy. Just a quick recap. You get any keyboard or synthesizer uh, into the channel rack. You lay down a bit of uh, chords. Uh, you change that one to the MIDI out. Set the correct port out. Do the exact same here for the input port. Get the same port. And then just engage and play it. Uh, while you're playing it, it'll uh, it'll send the notes here to the MIDI input so that the multivoicer can use that. Um, I'll just uh, demonstrate another quick thing because um, now you guys know how to use the multivoicer, uh, how to at least map the MIDI to the multivoicer, but you'll probably get a sound that isn't what you're expecting. If we're if we choose the default one and I'll set it to like the same amp um, as well as disengage like the the reverb which is on right now we'll be getting something like this which is fine but it isn't like the the bulky uh, synthy sound that you get whenever uh, you hear Tim Hansen use it. So I checked out the Rich Kids MIDI and I tried to copy that uh, as much as I'd like into my own uh, preset. And with that preset, um, this is usually in like sort of a house form, like these two are down a bit and these two are further down. Uh, in Tim Hansen's preset, these are set all to like uh, a level change of nothing, so level zero, and the uh, panning is a bit different. Uh, it's mostly the tone. The tone is uh, scaled up quite a bit. It goes from noon to like, or from like the middle to uh, 0.9, and the unison is uh, rolled back, and that gives a different sound. So it mostly doesn't force the, the guitar out as much, it just levels everything nicely which gives more, you know, the vibe that you're probably used to from the songs where they use this kind of effect. Uh, but with that it still sounds kind of bland. 
like let's be honest we didn't get this just to be able to do this we want to get as close to like a sound that feels just like that polyphia sound that tim henson multi-voicer sound for that um i'll engage some pedals i've done nothing with these pedals there as i maybe i've tweaked this a tiny bit the drive and the tone on the overdrive but it's clear to nothing um so right now i'll just play a bit and i'll put on the the pedals where i got like the feeling where it was it was nice for me Yeah, that's uh, pretty much the gist of it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, want to know anything at all, mainly if it's concerning, like um, using your stuff with FL Studio uh, like this, I don't know everything, but I know some bits. I'd like to help anyone. Um, if you're using your, uh, if you're like tracking your guitars in a different way or anything, just hit me up as well maybe we can figure something out uh i like exploring like other options as well uh, this is how i got the multi-voicer to work and um yeah i hope i helped someone if not again dive into the comments i hope we can figure something out so guys good luck i hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching